Alright, let's fix the video wars because I'm out of. I just get my tool flat. All right, so what we're doing here, we got Roz up there putting oil inside of the cylinder liner. I'm yep. gonna drop the, the piston in, rod first, and this is where I'm gonna use the stick. I'm gonna get on the opposite side of the crank and guide it in, make sure it doesn't just slam down into the crank, which we have this protective wrap around here. When we get down closer, I'm able to align it better. We'll yank this off last, and uh, right, it's best to have this, this uh, crank about right in the middle not at the top not at the bottom right over here if you go any higher it gets in the way of the rod where you're not able to get it on top and seat it with this crank so this is about perfect position so here we go I'm ready so far back here it takes a couple guys to hang on so. wait right. hold on so now when we got it loose I'm going to talk to the camera here. You just hold tight. Pull this protective coating off. Protect your wrap. Alright, bring it back down. Keep coming. Keep coming. Ah, perfect. We're seated on the, the on the okay. crank. Let's rotate the crank. All right, I'll rotate it. Counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. Ninety degrees. Ninety degrees it is. I'm gonna pull pressure down on this to keep it seated on the crank. Got ninety degrees. Keep going. Keep going. All right, that's good. Yeah. Right. So on this burn cap, we're gonna make for sure. See where it sticks out on the bottom? He's gonna go towards the front of the engine. Hold it up. Have it running by Friday. Insert bolts. Make sure you speak real loud in that camera. All right. Bring up each side. X, X pattern seems to work the best. Crisscrossing. See how we got it a little farther this time? Run your fingernails along the edge. Make sure that it's, you know, you don't have a gap. You're not. You tighten it, torque it to 50 foot pounds. Or is this 55? 53. 53. You want to say in the book? 52. That's what it said. 52, 53. It said on 52. Also check your end plate on your rock and forward and back. Yeah, also check your uh, front to back end plate. Make sure it's not in a bind. That'll scuff the cylinder. That's a mistake people do when they change rods and mains. And then it scores the cylinder when they crank it up and it burns off for the rest of his life. Alright, so we're going to check. We're going to wiggle it back in front. Check them all while you're under there. I think we got the last one in.
Okay, we've tor torqued these rod cap bolts, the 52 foot pounds. Now we're going to index them. So we made a mark on the bolt, we made a mark on the rod cap. And we made a second mark 60 degrees from there. So I'm gonna rotate this bolt until the second mark lines up to where the first one started. Yellow mark matches yellow mark. Recording. So we got our mark two notches over. And this was 60 degrees. 